Hello, this is Jonathan, and I am the creator of OpenShot Video Editor. And in this video, we're going to talk a little about um, getting started and learn a little more about what OpenShot Video Editor is. Um, so for those who don't know, OpenShot is a free and open source video editor. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So it's, it's free. There's no excuses not to uh, give it a try. Um, and it's quite simple to use, which is um, which which is my my goal uh, as I built it. So let's jump right in. The first um, step to getting into OpenShot is to download it for your operating system. So I'm on my website now. So I will go to the download button, and it should auto suggest the download for your operating system. So you click this button. For example, I'm on Linux, and it would um, download the Linux package. Um, but you can also access the downloads at the bottom, such as Windows or Mac. And then, um, if at any point you experience a crash or some problem, we also have a button on our download page called Daily Builds. And this gives you our most recent cutting edge um, download links. So this is a good place to go if you're curious if a bug has been solved, perhaps. So once you've installed OpenShot and launched it, this is what you're going to see, something that looks like this. Um, the, the small blue square in the middle is our tutorial, and it kind of guides you around the application. Um, so I'm just going to kind of follow those tutorials and, and talk through it. So on the left side of the screen is where you put your files, such as um, you know, videos, images, audio files. And this is the source, you know, the, the, the things that you want to include in your video. Down here at the bottom, these bars at the bottom, we call our timeline. And that's where we are going to arrange our files or clips, as we call them. Um, so this is kind of where all the magic happens um, as far as, you know, sequencing and um, laying out your video project just the way you want it. And in this black box is basically just a video player. So this is where we're going to... Uh, preview our project and then finally um, this red dot here is basically the button that will open up um, a window which will let us export or render our project as a as a new video file so that's kind of the end game right we're trying to make a new video um, so that's the the final step there um, but before we jump in to how to actually use the program um, I wanted to point out in the preferences, which you can get to through the edit preferences menu, um, there's quite a few interesting things such as language. Um, so by default, OpenShot should be in the language of your operating system. And if for some reason it's not, or you want to just default it, we support over 70 languages, I think, and you can just switch the language um, and restart OpenShot and it will be in that language. So very, very cool. So just keep in mind that um, there, there's more advanced options, um, keyboard shortcuts and autosave settings, things like that. Um, so if at any point you need to access one of those, now you know that you can get to it through edit preferences. Um, you can switch your language. And then one more menu that is very useful under help contents. And what that will do Okay, well, let me just uh, jump to it. So what that will do is open up our OpenShot user guide. And this is also available on openshot.org, our website. And so what's really cool about our user guide is it's full of really interesting uh, tutorials and, and good illustrations that describe to you what all the buttons do. Um, and so it's, it's very informative and if you um, have any interest you can kind of read it from start to finish if you really want to know how everything works um, i guess spoilers for my video series but it's it's really good stuff if you're just wanting to know how do i do something or how does it work so you can get to that through the actual um the help contents menu inside OpenShot. so in the next video we're actually going to um, throw some some source content into the video and and actually make a video mm -hmm.